Okay, so, uh, you know, it's been a couple of years since I got uh, a beating from Marcelo in 2009. He invited me to uh, go train at his school, and I got to be a believer uh, at that moment. And then we were lucky enough at 540 uh, yesterday to get a dose of uh, some nogi training with him. So here's a little glimpse of my, my daily beating. Um, one really thing interesting about Marcelo that I didn't realize is his wrist control when he arm drags you. He kind of throws a little wrist lock in there. And, you know, when I rolled him the first time, I think I was so blown away that I was actually training with him that I didn't get to have so much fun. And in this one, I got to actually kind of have some fun. Right here, he gets a hold of my arm, and in the end, right right there, little, you see a little wrist tweak, and it kind of threw me right to his, his lap. That was something I did not realize that he did. And it made a really big difference in the rotation of my body. I couldn't move away from the, the direction he turned my hand it kind of just plopped me right uh in a zone where he wanted to be and he also you know if you watch his hand he, pu he punches everything through as opposed to like you know just sort of gently trying to wiggle your finger through like if his hand's going under your chin it, he means business you know um right here's kind of funny because one of our students is watching i started to kind of laugh i knew that my time was dwindling <laughs> <laughs> um you know, it's just, it's, it's really an honor to be able to train with guys like that. I mean, you know, he is the best of the best. And getting tapped by him is like catching a perfect wave, you know. You, you end up learning a lot from it, and, you know, you'll never forget it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it's nice, he'll actually let you play a little bit. Marcelo's not very aggressive in his uh, trying to be super dominant when you roll. He likes to actually let you, gives you positions, and let you, you know, let him play guard. He switches things back and forth, but, you know, when he picks it up... Uh, Get ready to tap. <laughs> <laughs> so what's he doing here? Uh, I tried to leg shield him, actually, the little move that I learned from him at his academy, and it didn't really work so well. <laughs> he kind of looked down at my leg when it was shielding his shin right there and sort of looked at me like, really? You know? Um, you know, because really, I mean, you, you can try only so much. It, it, his guard is really difficult to get around with his grips and all the other stuff. I mean... You know, it seems like every time you go for a move, he's about three steps ahead of you. And that's what Majid and I were talking about yesterday when we went surfing afterwards. We were both kind of just tripping out on, like, everything you throw at him, as soon as you go to put it on him, he's past you or he's on to the next move. And that's kind of the difference between him and most people. A lot of guys you can, you know, moves will meet, like, equally. With him, his, his steps are, you know, beyond your next uh uh, thing that you're moving towards. He's already ahead of you by three. What are you trying to do to him every time you see him? Leg shield. I'm trying to like go for like a telus pass and sit back kind of like a little leg flop, but I couldn't. He just keeps making distance by pushing you back to where your comfort zone is is never there. See, see what I mean? It's like right when you start to move forward, he counters with a hook. <laughs> 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 and it's kind of funny because in the middle of it, you realize it when you're losing, you know? That's what you get. You get beat. <laughs>